Hey, hey, me says it's Marisha. It's Marisha. It's Marisha. Marisha. I'll be so sorry if this popped in my face. <laughs> Turn up. It's my birthday. What do you want with it? What do you want? What do you want? Hey, Cake Nistas, it's Marisha, and I'm so excited. We're still in a pandemic, so there's really not much that I can do. I usually stress over my birthday cake so much that it ends up being either super last minute or the bummiest, crustiest looking cake ever. I was really excited about this cake. I've been in like a serious tie dye phase. Matter of fact, you see this color, how it's like a light tie dye, like pinks, blues, yellows. I have been feeling this lately. See how the robe just sets it off? And this is just how I'm feeling. And I need it for my cake. Hold on. Okay, I still gotta do it all black because it's my birthday. I'm calling it my dreamy birthday cake and I think you can see why. It's colorful and it's very dreamy. So if you guys haven't done so yet, I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe to the channel. Press on the notification bell, like the video, especially if you are an Aquarius. Happy birthday to all of you and let's get started. Okay, okay, nieces, I have already baked my cake. This is actually a keto cake by Duncan Hines. I did color it bluish green, so that's fun. I'm going to fill it up with some caramel sauce. I don't like this caramel sauce, I'm gonna be honest. Smucker's caramel is not real caramel to me, but it's what I have in my cabinet. And I'm going to put my own chocolate frosting on the top of my cake to seal in that Fraramel, that's what I'm calling it. Next goes the second layer, and this is my first time trying this vanilla keto cake, so I'm kind of excited to do so. And this is a small, super small, yet tall, four inch cake. Perfect for two people. And then my final layer goes on top. Because I have that cavity in the center, I'm gonna fill it up with caramel and then put another piece of cake right on top. Isn't that a beautiful color? Like an aqua blue, I love that. I'm going to crumb coat the cake in my fluffy vanilla buttercream. And as you can see, I have both of my buttercreams in these eight ounce jars because they are going to be for sale. Check my Etsy shop if you are interested in having my frostings shipped to your door. You don't have to worry about making your own and we're not even gonna talk about those nasty store-bought brands. We're not even gonna talk about it, okay, aluminum? Okay, artificial flavors? Okay, vanilla wear? Yeah, <laughs> check the description. So once I crumb coated my cake and I refrigerated it for about 15 minutes, I went and made four Four different colors of buttercream frosting, a light blue, light pink, dark pink, and a golden yellow. So this is a technique that I've never really done on this channel, but I've always wanted to. You could do many designs with this technique. You can make marble cakes, but we'll save that for another video. Once I have all of my buttercreams colored, I'm going to put them in random places onto the cake. We wanna make sure that they are large blotches of frosting that we're putting onto the cake. I wish there was a better word than blotches. I just Nothing comes to mind right now. Nope. So we're gonna put big blotches onto the cake. You wanna pretty much fill it up like how you want it to look. So I'm going to start off with my blue. Then we're going to move on to pink. As you can see, I have a light pink and then a deeper pink. I need a pina colada and a bitch in the Bahamas. Girl, I like Yava. I don't want no drama. And if you give it to me nice, nice. 
nice, nice. I'ma give it to her twice, twice, twice. Yeah, she just my type, type, type. She got the thing that I like. Yellow is a great complimentary color for this cake. And it's also in my pajamas, so that's how I knew it would work. I'm going to put this cake in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes. And we are going to start to scrape off the buttercream from around the cake. At first, it's gonna give you a little bit of tension, like, hold on, you put me here, I was here to stay, like, this is where I'm at, but you gotta say no, no. This was a temporary situation. So you just kinda keep scraping around the cake. You can let the cake sit for a couple of minutes so that that outer layer gets softer, but then you wanna scrape again, and then scrape again, and then just kinda keep scraping until you have that perfect smoothness. When I took the buttercream off of the cake scraper and put it into my bowl, I made sure not to mix it up. Just scrape it off into the bowl because I want to use that again later on for the top of the cake. Turn down for what? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm going to let the cake sit in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes to harden one more again. I had saved the buttercream that I scraped off from around the cake and I was going to pipe a border onto the cake. But something just didn't sit right. And I have this cotton candy in the cabinet from my sister's gender reveal. Scrape that off, get that out of here. And I'm going to replace that with cotton candy. When I was in the Bahamas, I got off of the um, cruise ship and this random guy walked up to me and was like, hello, Candy. It was so creepy. Hello, Candy. I was like, I don't even think I was 21 yet. And he was like, probably 55. So now in the back of my head, I call myself Candy. Not Candy, Candy, like that. That frosting is not going to go to waste. I'm going to take it and put it in a piping bag with a straw piping tip and pipe a nice little border on there to make this cake look complete. I rotated my bag as I was piping to make sure that I got different color patterns so that it wouldn't be just redundant all the way around the cake. And of course, a queen has to have gold on her cake. I give gold to everybody else. It's time for me to shine as well, okay? Okay, so I love ice cream. I wanted a cake with ice cream cones involved in it. Let me see what this looks like. That just looked like, what are we doing here? Now we're up in Mars somewhere. We need to bring it right back down here to Earth. I replaced that weird cone with a happy birthday sign, added some sprinkles to the bottom, and that completed my dreamy, cloudy birthday cake. Couture in my birthday cake. Bye guys. This was a keto cake. The only thing that was not keto was everything besides the cake. 
This could also be like a little review of what I thought of the Duncan Hines Keto Cake. The problem with keto baked goods is that it's often made with coconut flour and almond flour because those are the two low carb flours that we can have. And I prefer more of an almond flour with a coconut flour support. The coconut starred in the show here. Like I took the first bite. I was like, okay, coconut cake with chocolate caramel. That's what this was. The only time that I probably ever use this box cake again is if I was making a pina colada cake. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And let's pick a cake needs to comment. The cake needs to comment of the day is going to go to Tanya Rhodes. <laughs> She's already got me chuckling. So in my how I started baking from home video, Tanya Rhodes says, you have some great stories. I watched them over and over laughing and SMH shaking my head. She's not lying because she has been binge watching my videos for the past two nights and commenting all along the way. I get notifications on my phone whenever I get a comment, so it pops up right away. She would watch something and then comment on it. And I'm like, oh snap, is that where she's at? Like, that was funny. And I'm, then, then I have to go click on the video, and then I have to watch for myself. You've been commenting a lot. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that I can make you laugh. It really like warms my heart to know that y'all sometimes sit up at night, you know, and just binge watch because I don't want to be the only one binge watching my videos. So I got, you got so intense with that stalker cake video. I was like, oh snap, she was feeling that one. If you would like to be featured in the next video, you just have to comment down below. Put hashtag cake needs to comment. Alexa, play that birthday song again. Happy birthday, a Stevie Wonder. On the oh. on happy, happy birthday. <laughs> Huh? Um, Alexa, does Luther Vandross have a happy birthday song? I would love to hear that. You're just gonna act like I don't exist. That's fine. Uh, FM, who would you like me to sing happy birthday to? Marisha. Okay, let's do this. One, let's do two, this. Three. Okay. Happy birthday. Oh, man, it's Alexa singing. I thought, I thought she was gonna get like a celebrity to sing happy birthday to me. She said, Dear Marita, what is going on? And many more. She said, Dear Marita, what is, what is this? I pay you. Yeah. Oh, no. I thought she said the dots. I thought it was a rapper. I give up. Have a great day. <clears throat> it's your bird blinging.